that the product of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is irrational. So let R be the, the rational number such that it's non-zero. And we can write it as a fraction of two integers, p and q, such that both p and q are not equal to zero. If q is zero, then we can't divide by zero. If p is zero, then that means it's a zero rational number, which we said it has to be non-zero. So both p and q have to be non-zero. And then we'll let x be the irrational number. And suppose, uh, so for the sake of contradiction, that when we multiply r and x, we get a rational number. And because r and x, r times x is a rational number, it can be written as uh, a over b, where b is not equal to zero, and a and b are integers. So then r times x equals a over b. And now I'm gonna solve for x. But first I'm gonna substitute r equals p over q, and then I'm going to divide by p over q to both sides, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, q over p. And then we get x equals a times q over b times p. And here x is written as a ratio of integers. So a, b, p, and q are all integers. And when you multiply integers, you still get an integer. So it's basically an integer over an integer, which means that x has to be rational. But that contradicts our assumption that x was irrational. So therefore we say that the product of a non-zero rational number r and an irrational number x must be irrational.